Greetings, detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The case of the faulty flame safeguard. The morning started about the same as any other day, except the boiler was down. Third time this week, two residents and a nurse stopped him on his way in to tell him the building felt cold. A properly working heating system is a must-have in a nursing home. As the maintenance director for the nursing home, Harold wore many different hats. This morning, he was the boiler technician. Harold's weight was just over 340 pounds, making kneeling difficult and standing after kneeling even more challenging. Inside the boiler room, Harold looked around for a reason for the boiler to be off. He pushed the reset buttons for the low water cutoff and the temperature control, and the boiler didn't start. He spotted the white button on the front of the square gray box on the lower right side of the boiler. Kneeling, he pressed the button and heard something click. Thinking he had the problem resolved, he started pulling himself to his feet. Before getting up, the burner stopped again, and the reset button on the flame safeguard popped out. He pressed the reset button once more with the same result. Thinking the third time was the charm, he pushed the reset button and had the same experience. I remember reading that Albert Einstein once said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. I'm sure Harold was hoping for a different outcome when he pushed the reset button the fourth time. And in a way, he did get a different result. Each time Harold pushed the reset button, the gas valves opened and allowed gas to flow into the boiler. When the flame safeguard didn't sense a flame, it shut off. The reset button on the front of the flame safeguard popped off. The flame safeguard manufacturer suggests waiting five minutes before pressing the reset button to allow some of the gas inside the boiler to vent out the chimney. When Harold pushed the reset button on the flame safeguard the fourth time, the accumulated gas inside the boiler ignited. The force of the explosion hurled Harold about 30 feet across the boiler room and into a cement block wall. The impact broke several bones and the most serious being the spinal cord. Harold spent the last 10 years of his life in a wheelchair, unable to walk. The lesson learned here is to only press the reset button once. If the boiler fails, the cause should be investigated. If you would like to contact me, I have my contact information below. This includes my cell and the two websites that I publish. This is all the books I've written so far. I have 11 books on boilers and they are available on Amazon.com. I write articles for several trade publications and they are online as well. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective and I hope to see you on the next case.